hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Emily and today we are going to be decorating my bedroom for Christmas time and giving it a little bit more of a romantic vibe as well, romantic holiday vibe. Um, I thought that'd be kind of fun since it is our bedroom. I still have a few other spaces in the house to decorate for Christmas so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. They'll be coming up here so shortly and then the Christmas home tour and everything. I've got some holiday baking and things like that for you so don't want you to miss out on those. But yeah, I'm excited for today's video especially because I've never decorated our bedroom with it being this dark color and I love the way it looks and I'm just gonna kind of make it really cozy and romantic and I think it'll really be pretty and I hope most of all that you get some ideas to decorate your home as well regardless if the dwell is dark or light hopefully you'll get some good ideas and things like that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you do give it a big thumbs up and make sure to check the description box I will have everything linked there all my bedding um, the dressers all that good stuff will be linked in the description box you can also follow me on my Instagram or like to know what I post on the daily and then of course my blogs listed down below as well for you so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so let's get to decorating this bedroom and spruce it up a little because it's looking a little blah and I'm excited to Christmas decorate in here and Definitely going to be changing up the florals in here. These are pretty. You can totally use these for Christmas. Um, but I want to lighten up the vases and probably do some form of greenery in here and berries. That's what I'm thinking. So let's see what we got. I'm excited. I did get some new sheets this year because all the other ones are a couple years old and they're starting to get a little tight on the bed, you know. But I found this really pretty set at Costco. Um, and they they haven't had a king sheets in so long. And so when I saw these, I was like, I'm grabbing them. Um, and they're flannel, which I absolutely love for winter time. So I grabbed these. They had a couple different um, colors too, but I thought, you know, I wanna do something a little bit more holiday um, for in our room. So I picked this one with the red in it. The question is, do I want to go light with the bedding or if I want to go dark with the bedding? The um, pillows for the top are already dark and those are really pretty. So I'm thinking because of the red in here, I don't know, I think it could look really good. I have this red blanket here and then I have my two velvet blankets that I could add as well. So I gotta decide. We're gonna try out a few different ideas and see which one looks the best. This blanket is from Target and it is beautiful. It's a quilt, so it's got faux fur on one side and it's got linen on the other side. I have it in two different colors because it is that good. do these pillows they're a little small I always keep forgetting to order the bigger size for the euro shams but you know it is what it is but this color matches the sheets better yeah. oh. I don't know I'm kind of liking there's the cream one or the white one just that this looks dull compared to the white because it's a creamy white versus if I use the sweater style Plus it offers a different texture, so I think I might do that. I found this blanket at Target this year and it's really cute. It's just a small little throw blanket. It's really soft. It's got the tassels, which is kind of fun. All right, so I've got these berries that I picked up from Hobby Lobby this year. I've got two of them. And then I also have this um, cedar stems. 
These are from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, but they've got the ice on them, which I really like. Can you see that? Um, a teeny bit messy, but not too bad. As long as you don't fuss with them, they're fine. But if you've got little ones, then I would suggest getting the ones without the ice. So it's not so messy on you. Um, but I'm thinking maybe just um, combining these two together. Since my walls are so dark, I thought the white berries might look really pretty. Um, but this would also be kind of pretty on the headboard too. So this garland's one that I've had for a few years. I got it at Target. It's part of the Hearth and Hand collection years ago, but I really like it and I used it last year in the bathroom, but the one I really wanted to use this year for here, I only actually grabbed one of them. So I'm going to use that on the console table um, here in a moment. So I used this here and instead of drooping it, I thought that would might bother us while we're sleeping. So I thought I'll just layer it over the top. And if you don't want to just layer it over the top, you can use command hooks or something on your wall and then use it that way. But I didn't have any, so this is what I'm doing instead. This candle set I actually picked up at Costco, um, but I'll leave a couple linked on Amazon. They have a real wax on the outside. Um, they're not as white as I thought they were going to be, so they're a little bit more on the creamier beige side than I would like, but I think we can make it work. And all they take is just a single battery or two batteries. Um, I gotta get some batteries, put those in there. But I thought this would be really pretty if this is just all candles and kind of makes it a little more romantic. This picture out which I absolutely love because this is exactly how it looks outside right now and it could stay like that all winter long it's totally fine with me it actually should usually the snow doesn't really go away till like February so I'm kind of excited but 
Isn't this pretty? This is from Target. They don't have this exact one, I don't think, anymore. They might, but they did bring out a new um, reindeer picture this year. So I'll leave that one linked down below as well. But the elk came through the yard this morning. It was really pretty, although they are eating my plants, which I'm not very happy about. But, you know, it's okay. Got to add twinkly lights. Yes, have to do this. So I'm just gonna tuck the thing right there behind the window curtain and This space would be really pretty in here. I picked this up at Target. Um, it's a little bit taller too, which is what I like. And then I have a couple florals here. The same ones from Hobby Lobby. And, um, or you can get them at Target. Just Targets don't have the ice. And then I'm using some older florals that I have from Walmart. I'm gonna kinda stuff those in there. Um, this sign, I picked this up at, um, what is it called? Walmart? Um, but I don't know, like, I mean, it offers height, but I don't really want to, like, clutter the space. I like it to be a little bit cleaner in here. So last year, I did garland up on here, and I really liked that. I left the command hooks up there. Um, but I used that garland in the on the bed this year. So I have this garland. Um, I got this, I don't know probably six, seven years ago at Michael's. It's not the thickest, but um, I figured, you know what, I might just use it in here to jazz up the space since I don't really want to put anything there. I mean, you don't have to do much else besides maybe a floral range and some Christmas towels, but I haven't bought any Christmas towels. I keep seeing them, but then I forget to buy them when I'm at the store, so I'm like, whatever at this point. Um, but I think I might just... I will say I definitely like working with the um, Tari Garland over this one. This one is, it doesn't have a lot of wire in it, so I feel like it's just doesn't want to bend the way I want it to. And it's a whole lot shorter too. Um, I'm not sure I'm loving this. <laughs> I'm gonna put the other one up and see what that looks like. I kind of feel like last year's just draped so nicely and this just kind of feels like eyebrows to me. <laughs> I don't. Um, yeah, I'm not really loving this. They're I wanted to share this with you because I feel like it's made a huge difference in my skin over the last year. Um, but it is the Tatcha um, brand skincare. This isn't sponsored or anything. I bought them last Black Friday. Um, because in the winter time we get super dry and we're dry in general, but in winter time I feel like my skin just like becomes a, a horrible desert, okay? And I've just now started taking care of my skin about a year and a half ago is when I started paying attention like I am not doing very well. Like my skin is going the wrong direction here. We're advancing instead of going backwards in time, you know? So I decided to give the Tasha brand a try. Um, I tried a sample of it years ago and I liked it but I was like it's too pricey I didn't want to invest in my skin well this thing lasts like you know eight months so it's like eight dollars a month to have it so it's really not bad it's just like instant difference I didn't break out after using it either which was really nice it's not oily or greasy it's called the dewy skin cream it leaves your skin so dewy um, in a plump way but not greasy does that make sense hopefully it does but i was using it morning and night when it was done i was like oh i don't let me see i'm gonna try some of the other popular brands that are out there that a lot of other people advertise they were horrible my skin went the wrong direction again and it was just dry looking and it was just flaking and i was like this is something's wrong so i went back to this 
and it's just been wonderful ever since. So at first when you buy everything together, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so much, but it lasts for so long and it's worth it because it's your skin and you're staring at it every single day. Um, at night, I will wash my face with the cleansing, um, the chamomile cleansing oil. This stuff works really well, removes the makeup, I really like it. Um, and then if I feel like I need to exfoliate, but not like a harsh exfoliant, I use the ice polishing powder. Because it comes out in a powder, um, and then you get it wet and it foams, and it's so gentle on your skin. It's wonderful, and everything just applies really nicely after. So I use like two or three times a week. And then I go in with the vitamin C or the plumping serum. Um, I ran out of the vitamin C, so that lasted me, um, I think, nine months. And so I've been using the dewy serum and then I put on the ageless or the dewy stuff. Um, really like this stuff, you guys. It's so good. Um, and then what I still have in is the eye cream. It's the silky one. This one, um, I still have quite a bit left. It just melts right into your skin. I really, really like their skincare. It's a Japanese skincare and it's just done wonders. I know every skin is different, so what may work for me may not work for you, but I wanted to mention it in case you're like in a really dry area and you feel like your skin is going the wrong direction, this will just make all the difference. I'm telling you, if there's only two things you want to get, I would say get the this one and this one. These are my favorite, I would say. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's Christmas decorate with me for the bedroom and bathroom. I really like the way it turned out and hopefully you got some decorating ideas for your home as well. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and everything will be found in the description box below this video. Just tap the more button right underneath the title. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you for spending part of it with me and I'll see you in the next one.